है डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू फोटोग्राफी बाय शरद कुमार के द ईओएस आर एट रिमाइंड्स अस ऑफ जस्ट व्हाट अ लॉन्ग वे कैन ऑन हैज कम सिंस लॉन्चिंग द ओरिजिनल ईओएस आर नियरली फोर इयर्स अगो एंड जस्ट हाउ मेनी कैमरास फॉर मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स द आर सिस्टम नाउ एनकम्पासेस At the end of 2022, the R series was up to 11 camera bodies and 31 lenses. And after producing some of the best Canon cameras to date, from the flagship Canon EOS R3 to the entry-level Canon EOS R10, the company has showed no signs of slowing down. The Canon EOS R8. Despite being one numerical value below the APS-C equipped Canon EOS R7, actually sports a full-frame sensor. Canon says that the R8 sits between the Canon EOS RP, its entry-level full-frame camera, and the Canon EOS R6 Mark II for serious enthusiasts and professionals. And the EOS R8 is certainly a bit of a Frankenstein's monster of the two. Whether you see it is an upgraded RP or a downspec R6 Mark II. Key features: The Canon EOS R8 uses the same 24.2 MP sensor as the R6 Mark II and also offers the same ISO range. which is expandable up to a whopping 10 to 400 the r8 can autofocus down to 6.5 ev it also replicates the incredible electronic shutter speed from the r6 with a blazing fast 40 frames per second making it one of canon's fastest cameras and a real contender for sports and wildlife photography although you might still be best served by the canon eos r7 thanks to its 1.6x crop factor and in-body image stabilization the r8 also has a 6 frames per second first curtain electronic shutter the electronic viewfinder on the r8 has a 120 frames per second refresh rate and comes with canon's ovf assist which is meant to mimic the look of optical viewfinders to make the transition from dslr cameras that little bit easier Canon's dual pixel CMOS autofocus to continues to be one of the best systems around and the R8 gets all the latest subject recognition and tracking and is able to track human and animal heads faces and eyes including dogs cats birds and horses and also vehicles including cars bikes planes trains and helicopters the EOS R8 can record video up to 4K 60p 6K oversampled or up to 180 fps in full hd all using canon's c log 3 or hdr pq and 4 2 to 10 bit recording the camera employs the whole width of the sensor to record so there is no video crop to deal with and canon also claims that any recording time limit in 4k is a thing of the past There is a plethora of connectivity methods including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, Apple MFI, Image, Canon, UVC and the multifunction shoe along with physical ports like micro HDMI, 3.5 mm microphone and headphone jacks and USB-C for transfer and charging. The camera uses an LPE17 battery which is smaller and has less capacity than the usual LPE6NH that full frame cameras usually use but this helps to make the overall body smaller and lighter weighing just 461g with the battery and an SD card build and handling the body is a very close replica of the EOS RP with a similar size and weight trimming 20g of the older model after some twing and froing on the top layout canon cameras seem to finally be finding a steady rhythm the layout of the top plate is near exact to the eos r6 mark ii with the on or off functions added to the lock switch and the old power switch becoming the new photo or video hybrid switch 
The rest of the top is standard fare with two top control wheels, the mode select dial, MFN button and a record button. However, the buttons and dials are shallower than the R6 as the R8 is overall sleeker and more akin to the RP. The rear controls of the camera are where things diverge from the R6 and move back into RP territory. Eschewing the rotatable dial and joystick from the more expensive cameras. I would say this is unsurprising at this price range, as traditionally joysticks were a key point of separation between Canon's higher and lower end cameras. However, with the recent entry level EOA's R10 having a joystick, this feels more like obvious handicapping. While the omission of a joystick is unfortunate, Canon's reduced layout is still very functional, with the focus still being able to be micromanaged, albeit more slowly, using the directional pad but with the touchscreen controls and the latest autofocus system in the EOAs are cameras being near flawless. This is easily worked around. The one area where this camera really falls down is with its single SD card slot. While we can see the logic in only including a single slot in order to differentiate the R8 from the R6, it is still unfortunate to see, with some smaller and similarly priced cameras from other brands including a second slot. However, placing the SD in the battery compartment on the base of the camera will always be incredibly frustrating. With this camera aimed as a hybrid production device, it will spend a lot of time in rigs, on gimbals and on tripods, many of which prevent access to the bottom of the camera, leaving users having to remove the accessories to get access to change a card. While better wired and wireless connectivity goes some way to solve this, Sometimes the old-fashioned way of whipping out the SD is the best. Performance In terms of sensor performance, the R8 is essentially an R6 Mark II with the same 24.2 MP resolution and Digic X processor. So the R8 should produce the same stills and video quality that we loved from its prissier big brother with the addition of 40 frames per second shooting with the electronic shutter. This is actually faster than the more expensive Canon EOA's R5 camera. The R8 is really not in short supply of bang for your buck. The R8 also shares the latest upgrades to Canon's autofocus and tracking system, which in previous models has been nothing short of spectacular with only a few stumbles on trickier to recognize animals. The camera is missing in body image stabilization, but that seems an obvious choice to be left out at this price point. Canon is still a firm believer in pushing its always very good lens-based optical stabilization. In video recording, lens IS can be combined with Canon's digital stabilization with the penalty of a slight crop or you can just do without. As Adobe Premiere Pro or even Apple iMovie's post-production stabilization is now just frighteningly good again, it means that a crop will be imposed. One area of performance where the R8 is heavily compromised, though, is in the choice of battery. Canon has chosen to go with its smaller, and less powerful LPE17 battery to save on space, making the overall camera smaller and lighter, while also separating it from the more expensive models, which use the much more enduring LPE6NH. The LPE17 is not a bad battery. On the contrary, it is used throughout Canon's range of APS-C cameras and on the EOS RP. However, for the use cases of the R8 as a hybrid camera, we expect that consistent 4K video recording and increased autofocus processing will eat through these batteries like Tic Tacs.
The Canon EOS R8 just does it all. There is no specific target audience that it would be primarily suited for. The R8 thrives in any situation where ultimate image quality is not the end result, but where the benefits of a full-frame sensor, such as a shallower depth of field and expanded dynamic range, can create better content. If you are enamored with the features of the R6 Mark II, but your budget cannot stretch to that higher model, then this is the camera to consider. Sure, there are a few compromises. You will have to make do with only one SD card and with its awkward placement under the battery door. If you are currently used to joystick or thumb wheel controls, it might take a while to get used to their absence. But for the technology that this camera can bring to your work, these all seem like pretty fair trade-offs. For online content creators who want hybrid cameras for photography and video, enthusiast photographers looking to try full-frame sensors, or students on a budget, the Canon EOS R8 pretty much ticks all the boxes. Please consider subscribing and press bell button. See you. Bye from SHK.